know, I don't really believe in an afterlife heaven or hell. I really don't believe in reincarnation. I think those things are a cop out for a mediocre life. Well, then how do you explain us? <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the point that we're making. If you're not including us in your all that is, we are happy that there are other all that is nesses. <laughs> because you just extinguished us from being this. I have a lot of questions. My biggest question is about family. They're overrated. <laughs> Well, <laughs> that makes things a lot easier. <laughs> Next. <clears throat> there are a lot of people who would disagree with us, but they would be wrong. <laughs> it's all right, we'll just read your notes. Have you ever had a thought about someone that was negative in nature that did not result in their immediate uh, beheading? My husband's ex-wife. She survived. She's still there. So, if you need us to haunt you, Anytime. We are available. <laughs> and, until October 31st, we are under great demand. <laughs> but after that, our calendar is clear. So, three years ago, I started studying your material. And it was mainly <clears throat> to cure myself of mental illness, which pretty much has been done. And now I have to like get a job. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I, again, I don't know if that makes any sense, but... Well, it makes perfect sense to crazy people. <laughs> like those who have assembled here. For those attending today that have seen me in the hot seat previously, I've usually been quite driven and purposeful in my questions. And today I'm ready without question. I want... All right, then get out. <laughs> You're up close now. We have, we have, we have the power to, to kick you out. We're not, we're not doing it, but we just want you to know. And I, and I appreciate knowing that. <laughs> What's your relationship with your mother? It sometimes is fabulous and sometimes very contrasting. So, it's all good. <laughs> <clears throat> my, my mother listens to you too. So <laughs> yes, it is all good. <laughs> You want it and don't have it, and we don't care. <laughs> because if we cared about what you want and don't have, no one would be holding the light about what you want. Someone's got to keep the faith, and it's us. So when you want it and don't have it, we still party. <laughs> we talk about how it was a close call on that one. <laughs> and how you almost, you almost had it. We talk about how you were walking down the street, he was walking down the street, you were in a bad mood and you turned the wrong way. <laughs> we talk about that. We talk about the veritable fortune that you've amassed 
and how you deprive yourself of it. And we don't laugh at you, but we think it's funny. 